Hello all, welcome to the kinematics of machineries tutorial. In this video, I am going to teach you how to calculate the degrees of freedom of a machinery using Kuchpa criteria. First of all, the equation for calculating the degrees of freedom using Kuchpa criteria is n is equal to 3 L minus 1 minus 2 J minus H. This is the equation for calculating the degrees of freedom. Here, n is the degrees of freedom of the mechanism, l is the total number of links in a mechanism, j is the number of lower pairs and h is the number of higher pairs. So if you don't have idea about uh, lower pairs and higher pairs, I will give you a small introduction about that. Further if you need more details, I recommend you to watch my previous video. According to the type of conduct, we can classify the mechanisms into two, one is lower pair and another one is higher pair. So whenever there is a surface contact between two linkages, then it is called as lower pair. Here you can see that in this rectangular bar, there is a surface contact between these two linkages. That is why it is called as lower pair. Here you can see that the shaft is entered inside a hole. So there will be a surface contact between the hole surface and the shaft surface. That is why it is called as lower pair. Then all the pin joints comes under lower pair because if you see here, this joint will resemble like this. So there will be a surface contact between the pin and the link. So it is called as lower pair. If you take pin joint, there are three different pin joints are there. First of all, the basic type is binary joint. So when there is two links are connected with the help of a pin, then it is called as binary joint. In case of ternary joint, at a joint, three links will be connected. You can see that. So link number one, two and three. The three links are connected together with the help of a pin. That is why it is called as ternary joint. In case of quaternary joint, four links will be connected. So one, two, three and four. So four links are connected with the help of a pin. That is why it is called as quaternary joint. When you are calculating the degrees of freedom, if you count the number of binary joint, you can multiply it with one or otherwise keep it as it is. In case of ternary joint, you have to multiply the number of ternary joints with 2. In case of quaternary joint, you have to multiply the number of quaternary joints with 3. Next one is higher pair. So whenever there is a point contact between two mating surfaces, then it is called as higher pair. In gears, if you zoom it, you can see there is a point contact. So that is why it is called as higher pair. Then in bearings, there will be a contact between the balls and the inner rays and balls and the outer rays. So there will be a point contact. So whenever there is a contact between a circular surface and a straight surface, there will be a point contact. So all these kind of contacts comes under higher pair. Then this is another example. The cam is connected with the follower. So you can see that there will be a point contact in between the follower and the cam. That is why it is comes under higher pair. Now we will solve a few problems on that. This is the first problem. We have to calculate the mobility or the degrees of freedom of the mechanism. So the equation is n is equal to 3L minus 1 minus 2J minus H. So this is the mechanism given. So first I have numbered it to the number of linkages. So all the grounds are considered as a single link. So and uh, it is given as link number 1. Then uh, this is link number 2. You can see that. It is shaded, it is a ternary link and link number 3, 4 and 5. So the number of links L is 5 here. Next coming to the number of joints. So we have one joint, so it is a binary joint, it is B1 and here it is B2, B3 and you can see that it is B4. So because uh, this is a single link. Don't consider these two lines as a se separate link. It is a combined single link. So it is B4, B5 and B6. So all are binary joints. So I can directly take the value as it is. So the number of links is 6. There is no higher pair here. So H is equal to 0. So if I substitute in the equation, N is equal to 3 into 5 minus 1 minus 2 into 6 minus 0, I will get a degrees of freedom of 0. Then coming to the second problem, this is the equation mechanism given. 
so the number of linkages is 1 and this is link number 2 this is 3 4 5 then 6 7 and 8 so the total number of links is 8 and coming to the number of joint so here we can see that two links are connected so it's a binary joint so it is b1 here also it is a binary joint so don't consider these two as a separate link it's a complete single link it's a it is called as actually a ternary link and here also it is a ternary link then here it is b3 b4 then b5 and here it is b6 b7 and this is a ternary joint so there are three links so this t1 and this t2 so the binary joints are seven and there are two ternary joints are there so it is seven plus two ternary ternary joints so two into two so totally i'll get 11 and there is no higher pairs here so h is equal to zero so we can substitute in the equation it is three 8 minus 1 minus 2 into 11 so the degrees of freedom will be 0 then the third problem so here I am going to number the links first so all the grounds are considered as link number 1 so link number 1 let's start from here it is link 2 link 3 and there is a slider is there so it is link number 4 link number 5 then this is link number 6 link number 7 and link number 8 so totally there are 8 links are here and coming to the joints first let us take the binary joints alone this is b1 and this is also binary joint b2 then uh, there is a binary joint in between the slider and the surface i mean floor so here there will be surface contact so it is a binary joint it is b3 then this is b4 and this is b5 b6 b7 and b8 and here you can see this this joint so here three links are connected so link number three link number five and slider link number four is also connected so three links are connected so it's a ternary joint so the number of joints are eight binary joints plus one ternary joint and the number of higher pairs are zero so let me calculate it it is three into eight minus one minus two this is equal to ten minus two into ten that is equal to 1 so the degrees of freedom is 1 the next problem so the numbering this is link number 1 the slider is considered as second link link 3 link 4 link 5 the entire structure is considered as link 5 then link 6 link 7 okay so this is not a separate link as it is fixed with the, the ground this is not a separate link don't consider this as a separate link the total number of links are 7 then coming to the joints this is a binary joint it is b1 this is b2 and here it is b3 b4 b5 in between the link number 3 and the slider two links are connected so it is b6 and in between the slider and the surface there is a surface contact so it is b7 and in between uh, this link number 5 and 1 you can see that a circle is sliding in between a straight line so there will be a point contact so this comes under a higher pair so this is higher pair h1 and there is no ternary joints here so i can uh, number it there are b7 so seven lower pairs are there and one higher pair is there so i can calculate it so it is three 7 minus 1 minus 2 into 7 minus 1 
So that is equal to 3. So the system has 3 degrees of freedoms. Next problem number 5. First I can number it. So the ground is link 1. This is link 2. This is link 3. Link 4. Link 5. And link 6. So the total number of links are 6. Now coming to the pairs. So this is a binary joint. It is B1. And here it is B2. So the entire structure is a single link. Link 2. And uh, you can see that this is B3. And this is B4. This is B5. And at this joint, you can see that three links are connected. So it comes under a ternary joint. And in between this uh, link 3 and ground, there is a point contact. Because a semicircle is... Uh, rolling on the ground so there will be a point contact so it comes under a higher pair so the total number of links are five binary links plus one ternary link and the total number of higher pairs are one so i can solve it here so it is three six minus one minus two into this is equal to seven minus two into seven minus one so if we solve this, I will get uh, degrees of freedom of 0. Then this is another problem. So let me number it first. All the grounds are considered as link number 1. So this is link number 2, link 3, link 4, and this is link 5, link 6, and link 7. So the total number of links are 7. And coming to the joints, so this is a binary joint, this is B2 and B3, B4, this is B5, B6, B7 and B8. So there are 8 binary joints are there and in between the link 3 and 5 you can see that a semicircle is in contact with the straight line so there will be a point contact so here it is a higher pair so j is equal to 8 8 binary links are there there is no ternary link is there and the number of uh, higher pairs is 1 so the equation is 3 into 7 minus 1 minus 2 into 8 minus 1 this is equal to 1 so before going to the next problem let us see what is redundant degrees of freedom so it means when one or more links of a mechanism may be moved without causing the rest of the mechanism's link to move, this is called as redundant degrees of freedom. So the movement of one link will never affect uh, the other links. So you can see that this is a circular uh, cam and it's a follower. So the circular cam is uh, pivoted at its center point. So you can see that if this cam rotates, then uh, this rotation of cam will never affect uh, the position of the follower. So in that case, this is considered as a redundant degrees of freedom. So in this case, the redundant degrees of freedom fr is equal to 1. So with this, we will move into the next problem. So the equation is same. Only thing I am going to subtract fr with the equation. So it is 3l minus 1 minus 2j minus h minus fr. So let me number uh, the mechanisms first. The ground is 1 and the circular cam is considered as 2 and the circle is 3 and the link is 4. So the total number of links are 4. I am coming to the joints. This is a binary joint B1 and this is B2 and this is B3. Okay, so there are uh, 3 binary joints are there and coming to the higher pair in between these 2 uh, circles there is a higher pair is there. So it is H1. So J is B3 and H is 1. Now coming to the FR, redundant degrees of freedom, you can see that actually there are two cams are there. One is uh, link number 2 and link number 3. So if you focus on link number 2, the cam is pivoted with an eccentricity. So when we pivot a cam with an eccentricity, then this will uh, oscillate. So the rotation of this cam will affect the other linkages to move and if you focus on link 3 this follower 
this is actually pivoted at its center so if the follower rotates then this rotation will never affect the other uh, links so this is called as fr so here fr is equal to 1 so i can substitute it so it is 3 into 4 minus 1 minus 2 into 3 minus 1 and for fr it is minus 1 so the degrees of freedom for this mechanism is 1 so this is how we can calculate uh, the degrees of freedom of a mechanism using Kushpa criteria. Thank you.